Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. Welcome back. That's right. Where are you at? You're on Tech of Tomorrow, and I'm Eric, your host, where we bring you all the tech all the time. Now, the new AMD line of cards has hit the market, and we were lucky to get our hands on a couple of cards. We got the MSI Twin Frozer Gaming Edition R9-280X, and we also got the Gigabyte WinForce R9-280X. So we took both of these cards, we clocked them both the same at 1050 megahertz, they come out of the box at 1050 megahertz on one card and 11 on the other. So we just decided we just keep it at the 1050 megahertz just to make sure there's no problems at all. We ran the test. There were no problems whatsoever. And pretty much these things are running similar to what you would see a pair of 7970 gigahertz edition cards run at. Now, what do we use for our testing? Well, we use a Haswell based system with an i7 4770K, 32 gigabytes of Patriot's Viper Extreme memory. Now for our boot drive, we're using a 240 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme SSD. For our storage drive, we have a one terabyte Western Digital Black Drive. We're using an Evo 212 cooler from the people over at Cooler Master. And pretty much that's it other than the motherboard, which is the Asus Hero. This is one of their latest boards on their ROG series. And this thing works really well and is really moderately priced. With that said, let's jump in, let's check out some of the performance and see how these two cards did in Costco. Excuse me, rocking out to the benchmark song. If you guys don't know it, that is the Human Zoo by me and the team here at Tech of Tomorrow. Now we have all these songs that you can listen to for free over at www.techoftomorrowmusic.com, a website that we made with Squarespace. We launched this site using squarespace.com, which is probably the quickest and easiest way to set up your own website. Squarespace has 20 templates to choose from to start you off and is constantly improving their platform with new features and designs. It doesn't matter if you're on your desktop, tablet or smartphone. Everything is optimized to look good automatically. If you're on any issues along the way, don't worry. You can take advantage of their 24 hour a day, seven day a week tech support team who are ready to help you get your site up and running. Pricing starts at just $8 a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. And to make things even sweeter for you, our lovely Tech of Tomorrow fans, you guys can receive 10% off along with a free trial upon signing up by using our discount code TOT10 at the checkout. So if you enjoy the content we put up and have been looking to create your own website, you can help support the show and get a killer deal on a killer service at the same time. The link is down below in the description. Check it out. So, all right, folks, you guys see the performance results and all that. Now, like usual, these drivers are not that mature, but you guys demand we get the videos out to you real fast. So that's what we're doing. Now you guys can see in some of the tests, we were getting, you know, a hundred percent double the performance and some of the other ones we weren't. Now these drivers though are very, very new. As the drivers mature, we'll see a lot better performance going on. And like I said, all the micro stuttering issues that we used to see on single monitors are now eliminated. They haven't eliminated it on multi-screen and Ifinity, but if you're just a guy who sits in front of your computer with one monitor, 
monitor, you want to do crossfire, you ain't got to worry about any more of that micro stuttering crap getting in your eyes and eliminating your, you know, joyful game. I don't really see it that much, but there are a lot of people out there who say they can see the micro stuttering. My eyes are just too old, I guess, because I don't really see that stuff. Now, like we talked about yesterday, and you guys can check that out in the video right over here, you guys can use a 7970 gigahertz edition card in conjunction with an R9 280X and Crossfire. You just have to use the 7970 as your primary card. So if you guys happen to miss that video, it will be right over here. Check that out. If you're not sub, the sub button is right up here. And down below the like button is a link to all the information, including the review, if you guys want to check that out. So I'm Eric. Peace out. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.